Remember that the regret is actually defined in terms of average reward. And so if we can estimate the average or the expected reward for each action correctly, then we can uh, minimize the regret, right? Then let's consider the greedy algorithm where uh, we're gonna take the action with the highest average reward. For example, let's say that we have only two actions and the action one will give you a reward one with probability 0 0.3. So basically the mu one here is equal to 0 0.3. And know that this is this is the ground true probability and it's, it's not known uh, in advance. We need to estimate it as the experiment goes. And, and the second action, A2 has a reward one with probability 0 0.7. So basically mu two is equal to 0 0.7. Again, this is the ground truth. Uh, average reward and uh, it's unknown and we need to estimate it. Now let's say that we, in the first round, we play the action A1 and we get a reward of one. And the second round we play action A2 and we get a reward of zero. And now at this point, the average reward of A1 and A2 uh, is actually one and zero respectively. Then according to the greedy algorithm will just keep playing A1 and will never play A2, right? Because A1 has a, a larger average reward than A2. But as you can see, this is actually a very bad strategy because A1 has actually a much lower expected reward than A2, right? Because 70% uh, of the time, if you play A2, you'll get a reward one. But for A1, it's only, 30% of the time. So this is actually a very bad strategy if you use a greedy, greedy, greedy algorithm. And this example actually illustrates a classic problem in decision-making. So this problem is that we need to trade off between exploration, which is trying to gathering uh, uh, data about the arm payoffs and exploitation which tries to make a decision uh, based on the data already gathered. And the greedy algorithm actually does not uh, explore sufficiently. And here exploration means uh, pulling an M we never pulled before. And exploitation simply means pulling an M A for which we currently have the highest, uh, highest estimate of mu. So basically if you uh, keep exploit, then this will be the original greedy algorithm that we, that we talked about. Now the problem with our greedy algorithm is that it's too certain in the estimate of mu a, right? Basically when we have, uh, when we have seen a single reward of zero, we shouldn't have concluded that the average reward of a2 is zero. This is not the smart thing to do. So basically you can see that the degree of the algorithm does not explore sufficiently. And this is why you need a new algorithm. Uh, this is called epsilon greedy. So basically in this epsilon greedy algorithm, for each round t, we'll first set a, uh, set a number of epsilon t to be equal to uh, some number that's gonna decay over time, over time t, and it's gonna decay at the rate at least one over t. And, and then the algorithm goes as follows. With probability epsilon t, it will explore by picking an M, chosen, uh, chosen uniformly at random. So it's gonna, let's say that we have k arm, we're gonna pick one of these k arms uniformly at random. Then with probability one minus epsilon, the algorithm will exploit by just picking an M with the largest empirical mean payoff. So this second part is actually exactly the same as the original with the algorithm. Now we can see that we, uh, by having this epsilon t, we actually, we actually uh, enable this algorithm to actually do some exploration, uh, actually explore some elements that you wouldn't have picked before. And you can actually prove that using this algorithm for a suitable choice of epsilon t, it actually holds that RT, which is the regret we are aiming to minimize, this RT will be equal to big O 
k times log t. So the t is the number of rounds in, in, in the algorithm we run and k is the number of actions. So we can see that if you divided this rt by t, you're gonna get big O k times log t over t. Then obviously you're gonna see that um, if, uh, if t goes to infinity, this, this amortize or this average regret is gonna approach zero. So this is exactly what we want. Therefore this epsilon greedy uh, algorithm actually works quite well. However, there are actually some issues with the epsilon greedy algorithm. The first one is that it's, it's actually not very elegant because this algorithm explicitly distinguishes between exploration and exploitation. Right? We have a uh, probability of epsilon to do exploration and we have a probability of one minus epsilon to do exploitation. But more importantly, the, this sort of exploration makes suboptimal choices. Why is that? This is because it picks any unequally likely. Now, our new idea uh, to improve upon this epsilon greedy is that when exploring or exploiting, we need to compare arms because as the time goes, we already have some more information about the arms, right? Therefore, if you just pick any arm equally likely, this is obviously not the optimal, optimal choice. 